welcome to Operation Antarctica. This is a custom level pack that I made. And this is a walkthrough on Insane. Antarctica Research Facility, Earth. 72 hours since last contact. Dun dun dun. The Antarctica Research Facility, ARF, is officially an international research facility consisting of three sectors dedicated to studying and monitoring geological activity in the Antarctic region. All right. Unofficial, it's a vast underground facility consisting of eight sectors with two main objectives. Studying the salvage from the Kronos Frontier incident and development of new technologies with focus on military applications and artificial superintelligence. Good God, this briefing is slow. In the past, energy weapon tests have knocked out the main power systems for up to 19 hours. Due to the nature of the research that goes on in this facility, standard procedure dictates we wait up to 72 hours should contact with the facility be lost. <laughs> and time just ran out. You ought to be inserted into the facility at the sector one entryway on the surface. Since the facility makes heavy use of auto ops, we believe there may be a large scale malfunction. Extreme caution is advised. You have two main objectives, rescue any survivors, find out the root of the problem and neutralize it. Okay, simple enough, kill everything, apart from the hostages. All right, so what do we have? Impulse, mm -hmm. all right, Falcons, pretty standard, missile pods, pretty standard. Coblins, Gorgons, simple enough. Sector 1 is a small facility with minimal auto presence. Our telemetry suggests there are two maintenance engineers in the cryopods. Since the facility is in a state of lockdown, you will have to overload the local reactor. While this does not destroy the facility, it will cause a chain reaction that will deal substantial damage to the sector, and as a result, will also temporarily open the emergency bulkhead that you can use to get deeper into the facility. Ooh, four completions. All right, so ARF entryway. First level, fairly standard stuff. A uh, couple things to note. There is an upgrade point in the first room. You can also see outside. Uh, coming to think of it, looking back at it now, I probably could have used terminal snow here. Ah, well, I might patch that in at some point. And this is the last of the sky we'll see, probably. At least for a while. Alright. So there are a couple of goblins in this tunnel. Uh, I believe this is the second secret. I think the first upgrade point was also a secret. Uh, but anyway, yes, we can get the cyclone on the first level. Handle these goblins with relative ease. It really is a tremendously good weapon. Very solid damage output. Is this insane? Yeah, okay, it is. It's just the goblins are not that dangerous. All right. This is the first key here. Um, so I've gotten four upgrade points so far. Uh, there's going to be one more from the hostages, and then uh, one more inside the reactor, and then finally you get one extra for finishing the level. There we go. Grab all of this. Let's get the hostages. Uh, so something to note: I actually made a, I made a new cryo chamber room, and every single cryo chamber is basically just copy pasted. So I, I wanted to kind of have like a standardized look for for this mission pack. All right, get through this. Level one access. All right, just a couple of organs. Well, three to be exact. No reactor turrets, very straightforward stuff. Exit in the same room. A couple of fans. And fun fact, uh, if I go and ram the reactor, because the, the final upgrade point is inside the reactor, so the idea is you blow up the reactor and then, oh look, there's an upgrade point. But actually if you go against the reactor from like a certain angle, I think you can pick it up Ah, huh, maybe I can't. Alright, whatever, we're pulling it up. I 
I could have sworn you can pick it up. Yeah, okay, maybe not. That's enough rubbing. Alright. And there you have it. Grab this, and this should be everything. Alright, let's get out of here. There we go. Clip through the wall there. You can see the, the rest of the level. Objective complete. No further activity detected. New destination. Sector 2 ventilation complex. ETA 7 seconds. So yeah, that's a cute little joke. Uh, but yeah, the whole idea is this whole facility or series of levels is actually one single facility uh, split into multiple uh, areas or sectors. Alright, let's just uh, save this and continue to the ventilation complex. Actually, let's check the stats real quick. All right, so seven goblins, five gorgons. Uh, gorgons dealt a total of 14 damage. Uh-huh, all right, all right. And Cyclone's pretty effective. Oh yeah, wait, actually they're hostages, right? Let's see. Jonathan Bridge, maintenance engineer. Oh, okay, so all these things are working fine. Oliver Stone is not doing so well. Okay, continue. Ah, okay. Oh my, nice little blow nut chunk we got going on here. Uh, all right, so yes. Uh, so whenever I uh, I put the weapon in the briefing, uh, that means that you get the weapon from a sort of a non-secret area. So yeah, level two, uh, we get the cyclone. Uh, there's also a flak cannon. Uh, there are hunters, and this level introduces us to the krakens. Uh, which is one of my favorite robots to put into levels. Um, Scorpions, another one that I really like. Uh, fairly easy to deal with, but kind of dangerous if you if ignored. All right, so what are we gonna upgrade first? Well, one of the temptations is obviously going for ship upgrades, but I uh, what I really like to do is I like to actually upgrade secondaries, uh, missile pods. I really, really like because they become considerably better with the simple plus upgrade. So that's going to be my first upgrade. And continue. Right, ventilation complex. Uh, sector 2 is largely responsible for maintaining, for, for maintenance, for maintaining stable temperatures throughout the facility for human inhabitation. Since all vital signs appear to be originating from cryo chambers, disabling the sector 2 local reactor should not cost additional human lives. The Sector 2 reactor is shielded and will require you to locate two power cores and disable them before you can proceed. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so the gimmick of this level is that the reactor is accessible from the get-go, but you just can't damage it. So you need to get a security key, uh, which in turn allows you to open two, uh, two doors, which have two power cores behind them. And if you destroy those, the shields are disabled. Also, this is supposed to be the exit tunnel from the last level. If you go back, you can grab an upgrade point. I believe that's the first secret. Uh, we also have a little hidden spot here. There's some shields, there's some ammo. And as soon as we open the door, we're gonna see our first Kraken. Oh my, quite tanky. All right, let's get the Cyclone out. All right, and there we go. There's an extra Gorgon. I think it also aggroes some of the goblins from the lower levels. Yeah, okay, there we go. People are, we're well, not people, but <laughs> bots are converging. Yeah, there we go, there's the goblin. Oof, all right. Yeah, so the difficulty is picking up a little bit here. All right, that angles that. This is one of the security doors, and then on the other, side of the reactor we have the other one all right so i think i yeah i got the flak it's right in front of this fan it's kind of easy to miss i've noticed i don't even notice when i pick it up most of the time because i end up fighting in that room so I just fly into it randomly all right get the goblin so if you look at the map real quickly it's kind of like this symmetrical convergence in this area so if you go to the lower area, uh, there's the hunter pack, and the 
There's also an energy center here, which is quite handy. There we go. Uh, right, something to note. Uh, because this is an OM reactor, you can still have it be shielded, but it won't display the force field like the Titan reactors do. Uh, I guess originally, but the the, uh, the uh, OM reactors weren't really meant to be shielded like that. But whatever. Um, and yes, it's worth pointing out that uh, I did try making it a Titan reactor, and even though it's supposed to be only 12 segments, no, not sorry, 12, not 12 seconds, but um, 12 units, so which is three default segments. Uh, in height, if you force field it, the force field was actually clipping through this floor. Uh, I tried raising the ceilings and, and fiddling around with the floors a little bit, but this area here was just yeah too close to it, so it had to be an OM reactor. Otherwise, it would look kind of ugly. So there, a little bit of trivia. All right, there are these guys out. Pretty straightforward. All right, so one of the tunnels is blue, one of them is yellow or orange. Uh, I do like the color code things, so it's uh, just a little bit easier to remember if you're playing the level for the first time. All right, time to progress. I don't really like these seams here, personally, but whatever. All right, Get this guy. Good goblin ambush. Go. I'm gonna shoot at the switch in a second. We can see a super rock right down there. All right. Hello, Scorpion. Goodbye. So there's a secret door there. Secret door there. Shoot at the switch. He opens those up. Just Scorpion waiting for us. There we go. So there's an upgrade point here. I don't think this one is a secret, and neither is this big upgrade point. But if you open the secret door, aha, we get a driller from the secret. Scorpion. Mm hmm. Hello. Yeah, wow. Well, the Scorpion's actually surprisingly fast and insane. Quite like that. Nice little challenge. Alright, get the Goblin. That's where one of the Scorpions was. I think there's another one there. No, oh shit. Wow, okay, that was a little fast. Alright. Flat kind of works nicely. So, this is a secret upgrade point that I. Uh, I have a tendency to miss when I was testing this level. Kept forgetting that I added that in. Another scorpion there. And we're going to have a little dogfight in a second. It's going to be a big room here. And a bunch of bots. Alright. Get the cyclone out. Down there on the floor was the was the actual like official cyclone. Can get. All right, get the scorpion. Pretty simple stuff. These are the upper points that you could see through the fan. Grab the key. Let's grab all this good stuff here. Just to be extra safe, I'll just double check that I got everything. All right. Looks like I got all the good stuff. Okay, so time to go back. I think there's a scorpion here. Yes, there is. There we go. Exit's over there. Right underneath the reactor. Let's get the hostages. Okay, so who do we have? The Vergen. Vergen. Alec Kravich. Carmen Cortez Ibanez. Okay. And a super upgrade. Yeah, simple enough. Uh, it's worth pointing out that these uh, uh, these uh, crowd chambers never have any secrets in them. Every single one is basically just copy pasted. All right, let's grab a little bit of extra energy and finish this level. Let's go through one of the sides. Surprise, surprise! It's just a power core. Again, when I made the second level, I was still kind of sticking to the whole idea of what these levels are going to be very short. You know, this is already substantially longer than the first level. But I like to kind of keep things sort of bite-sized chunks. All right. Pull this thing up. All right, should be good. And I believe the cyclone can actually reach the reactor. Yes, it can. Just barely. 
to go a little bit further away. I think it starts, yeah. Here it already fades out because it's not upgraded. All right. Man, this button is good for DPSing things down. <laughs> All right, got a little of energy. Not that I really need to, I think. Okay, cool. Fingers crossed they got everything. Objective complete, no further activity detected. New destination. Heat exchange. ETA three seconds. I guess we're already there. Alright. Hey, it's still a walkthrough. Got all the secrets. Uh, and all the upgrade points. Cool, let's save it. Uh, ventilation complex. Alright, let's check the stats real quick. Alright, Gobbles Gorgons. Yeah, Kraken's a fair bit more dangerous, apparently. I think Gorgons did the same 14 damage last uh, last level. Let's see what do we have. Alright, total primary damage. Cyclone's good. So are missiles. Okay, cool. Everyone's in stable condition. Very good. Continue the heat exchange. Alright, so this is where we get the driller. High velocity projectile cannon. Very exciting. Uh, we also get the creepers. Uh, these are also really, really quite good, particularly in single player missions. You can really do a lot of damage without ever really putting yourself in harm's way. Okay, we get to Novas. Oh, yeah, right. Top fire missile with plasma tracking. Oh, and we also get the Devastator. Yeah, spoiler alert, there's going to be kind of a sort of a big guy at the end of this level. Alright, so this level also introduces the Ogre. Dual flat cannons. Uh, ogres are already bots that I don't really like too much personally. Uh, I, they're sort of pseudo hit scans, but they're very limited range. So what I like to do is I kind of like to put them a bit further away from the player so that they always kind of have time to react to them. I really don't like it when they're kind of just ambushing you around a corner and getting free damage off. That kind of feels cheap, so I try not to do that with ogres. But sometimes they roam around the level and you still get these situations, which are a little bit annoying, but nothing too major. We also got the Shredder, which is probably one of my favorite robots, if not the favorite robot. All right, so we do have quite a lot of upgrade points. Um, so, because I've obviously played this level a few times, um, I like to go for item duration. Uh, which increases the power of duration a fair bit. Really allows you to deal with some uh, nasty threats rather easily. Uh, I think I'll also go for armor toughness now, because this is where the levels become a little bit more difficult. And I think we can continue. I don't think I can upgrade anything else. Yeah, I need four upgrade points for the secondaries. And five for the primaries. Yeah. Okay, continue. Heat exchange. Sector 3 contains a large number of survivors in the cryobay. Sector 3 also does not contain a reactor, but rather a powerful auto guarding the deeper sectors located in the Antarctic crust. Destroying the Guardian will have a similar effect to destroying local reactors. Exiting the sector quickly is highly devised. And yeah, the mission objective is destroy the Guardian. Alright, even though it's not the Guardian bot, but rather a... Um, well, you'll see. Okay. Let's do it. All right, so as per usual, this is the exit path, and at the end of it, we get our first secret, a super upgrade point. So it's worth pointing out that uh, whenever I make single player levels, I try to create kind of a safe area where the player spawns in. I generally don't like to have robots attacking you immediately as you spawn in to the level. All right, so we have a uh, we have two secret doors here. We shoot at the switch, and we get a uh, Nova missile from a secret, and we can also get the Reflex cannon from a secret. Uh, Reflex is kind of good on single player missions because uh, when you upgrade it, it's really quite um, it's really quite good because you can deal damage to robots without ever really putting yourself in harm's way, which uh, I find to be a pretty good thing about this weapon. All right. Immediately greeted by Kraken. Alright, get this guy. Go down here. Hello, and there we have our first ogre. Also a couple of goblins converging on us. 
There we go. Alright, as you can see, we also have a cyclone pattern here. So another thing that I did with this little pack is uh, you have sort of soft cold starts this time around. So when you cold start a level, you won't have the primaries, but you will have the secondaries unlocked so you can upgrade them, but you will have, I think, only 10 falcons. So you basically still have cold starts, kind of, but you can get weapon upgrades. And look, there's a there's a shredder clipping through. The moment we pick up this uh, cyclone, we will trigger this trap. There we go. All right, got one. There we go. Love these guys. Awesome robot design, I think. All right, grab the upgrade points. Very good. Okay, we're full armor. All right, another blaze over here. Not really going to tank you this one. All right. Let's blow this ogre up. Get this gorgon. Gonna take kind of a weird path to the level. All right, let's grab all this stuff. Whoops. Got a hit there. All right, let's grab this energy. Hello there. Have a little secret upgrade point here. Get a flak cannon, which honestly I think works quite well on this level. Here's our restricted area. We'll get to that in a minute. All right, time to go up here. All right. Get all the bad guys. Grab this little upgrade point here. All right. Aha, there he is. Should also be a scorpion up here, if I recall correctly. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there are a bunch of upgrade points. First Devastator missile. Alright, there we go. Grab the upgrade point. This guy's oblivious to us. Fine by me. Alright, bunch of baddies in this level. Or room, rather. Yeah, so the way this fight kind of, it can play out in two ways. One is how it just did, where I kind of sneak up on the bots. The other way is if you actually go for the top bit in the starting room, you will have this fight. So that depending, well, it doesn't matter which door you open, there's always a Kraken greeting you. But here you will actually see the, the ogres at a distance at different spots. So you will have time to react to them. There's a little uh, bit of a soft secret here. I don't actually think this is a secret area, uh, but you get the driller here. There we go. Let's get a Nova missile out of the open. Grab some armor. Get this little goblin. Alright. And now we can go to the lower area. A little scorpion waiting for us to ambush us. Had we come from a different direction. So this area connects to the lower area that we took from the first room. Grab the energy. Grab the shields. And if we go to the right, we can obviously go up, which takes us back to that um, icy dogfight room. And this is where we also get the hostages. All right, let's grab this. Yeah, so this is the only level that I think has every single cry chamber slot filled. Boom, we get an upgrade point out of that. Okay. And this leads us back to this bit here. And now, because we got the security key, obviously we can progress through the security door. I'm just gonna double check real quick. I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. Yeah, I got all the upgrade points here. Yeah, we should be good. Got that. 
everything down here. Yeah, I think we're good to go. All right, another Kraken waiting us behind a door. I guess the lesson here is never open a door with your with your face like that. Then you will take some damage, most likely. All right, sure. Let's use reflex. There we go. That handles that. Getting deeper into the facility now. So this is where the ice kind of turns to rock instead, because we're now official in the crust. Uh-oh, massive incoming threat. So yeah, the boss of this level is a Goliath core. Um, the interesting thing is that you don't actually aggro the Goliath core immediately. So there are a lot of uh, melee bots in this cavern that you can deal with before you actually engage the Goliath core. That will make the fight considerably easier. Just grab this upgrade here. All right, got the shredder there. All right, little guy, off you go. All right, and there's a lot of supplies. So this cavern contains a bunch of devastators and other missiles and energy and armor. You just have a lot of stuff to deal with all this crap. Up to the driller out. Actually running quite low on ammo. There we go. Whoa! That blade went flying quite violently. Alright. It's time to switch over to the Cyclone. Ammo's a little low. There we go. Got that little fella. Alright, falcons, more falcons, missile pods. Very good. Alright. Let's get these. Oh my, okay. Thought I was gonna kill them a little sooner, but. Okay, ran out of ammo there. Wait. Where did he go? Did I get him? Must have. Must have gotten him. That's weird. I, I actually didn't realize I killed that shredder. shredder. Oh, no, no, I didn't. That's him. All right, interesting. No idea how he disappeared like that, but... So, yeah, there's an overdrive, and there's the Goliath core. Let's just grab the overdrive real quick. This will make this fight a lot easier. Let's just unload into him with the... Actually, let's do that. Use the driller. Zero ammo. Nobody cares. Space magic. There we go. Pretty straightforward. Even got a little bit of overdrive to spare. All right, give it up. There we go. Devastator and an upgrade point. I think we got everything here. Pretty hope we did. All right, and away we go. Pretty short count on actually. Ooh, nice clip through the wall there. And as we can see, we had a... Well, yeah. Okay, I think like two too many hostages. Let's see if it's still a walkthrough. Yes, it is. Got everything. Okay. Uh, overwrite that. Let's check the stats real quick. All right, 16 shredders. Shredders actually did the most damage. It's just kind of surprising. I didn't think they hit me that much, but yeah. 88 damage, that's actually quite a bit. All right, let's see. Cyclone Reflex Driller Flag, Falcon Missile Pod. Bit of auto-op related damage. I believe this is um, Friendly Fire from uh, robots that deal AOE damage. So that would be things like uh, Gorg, no, not Gorgon, sorry. Uh, this would be things such as Explosive Boss generally. And I know that the Ogre Bot with its flag cannons it can also deal friendly damage, and I think it, at least in early access, it used to show up as uh, flak damage, the primary weapon damage. So there. Yeah, okay, the hot doesn't really support that many people. Yeah, whatever. Let's continue to iron mine. Alright. So this level gives us the reflex, officially. 
We also got the Crusher. That's another very good weapon. Um, let's get the Time Bomb here. Introduces us to the Triton. So this guy launches Falcon missiles. Very exciting. We also get Golems that self-destruct. Uh, these guys are bastards. Uh, we get Vibrants, which are relatively low threat robots, but they do move around quite a bit. So they kind of hit and run with a with small missile pod bursts. Okay. So let's see, what do I want? Uh, I know there's a certain viewer that wants me to upgrade flight speed, uh, but I think I'll actually go for more secondaries for now. Um, I'm gonna get creepers plus plus. I'm gonna get creeper STs. Um, I don't really. The temptation is there to go for Cyclone because it's just really, really good. Actually, screw it. I'll upgrade the Cyclone. All right, so that keeps us at three or yeah, three spare. Quick accessory energy. I don't really think that's terribly interesting. So yeah, I think we're good to go and continue. Okay, dubbed the iron mine. Sector 4 has actually various different rare mineral deposits, with iron mining making up only 57%. Sector 4 acts as the main source of resources and materials used in other sectors. Oh, look, it's red. Uh, so yeah, overload the reactor and we should be good to go. Teleporting to iron mine. Exciting stuff. There we go. Oh yeah, right, this level will actually spawn in with uh, 100 ammo. Okay, so we get a little bit of goodies in the first room. Uh, we also have a secret door here, which can be unlocked with this thing, or rather, it actually straight up opens it. So we can get a driller from the secret, which puts us at 200 ammo, and can immediately start sniping things. Oh look, that's the Vyvern right there. Apparently we didn't get him. Dodgy little fella. All right, these guys are pretty aggressive. Wow, backing me into a corner already. All right, let's get out of here. No, I want to get that Gorgon. There we go. Okay, you're next, buddy. There we go, grab the armor. Like that guy. Will the missiles come in? Yes, they will. Good job. Ruh row. Nobody saw that. Okay, uh, get that. Hey, look, guys, there's an ugly scene here. Yeah, so this is because it's a very slim bit. It, it, it's, yeah, no, it, it looks pretty terrible. I was gonna make some stupid excuse for myself that oh you know it's, it's actually not that bad but no it's 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 pretty atrocious. Uh, I think there's a guy over here. Oh no, never mind. I think we killed him already. Yeah, there's a the deformation on this little pillar is a little too harsh. Oh Jesus Christ, that's no good. Uh, this is actually an easy fix. I just should have made the deformation much lower. I think this cavern area actually has pretty strong deformation. I think like one or even more than that, uh, which makes the caverns look really quite natural. But it it doesn't like small sort of tiny uh, lips or, or edges let's go oh my god knock into the face immediately all right let's handle these guys all right got him there we go all right so there's a security key over there blow up there we go. Because there's a secret here and there's a secret here. When I pick up the key, we open this secret, which has a, I believe it has a scorpion and a crusher. Oh look, a scorpion and a crusher. Um, the other secret has a thunderbolt and this is a little bit more obscure. So you have to kind of peek here and you can see the switch. If I can get the cyclone to cooperate, I will get it. I know it's possible. There we go. Uh, 
and we get the Thunderbolt. Uh, this is a pretty good weapon. Charge up to deal tremendous damage. Alright, let's go up here. Might enough to kill a Triton in one shot though, and insane. Oh, right. That little Wyvern wanted a piece of us. Goodbye. There we go. Alright, grab the super upgrade. Uh, grab the creepers here. Oh, we're already at maximum load. That's great. Go on. There we go. Alright, let's check out the blue tunnel. <laughs> Ooh, it takes four to kill him, I think. Yeah, there we go. Got the little scorpion. a piece of us too. Right, so grab the upgrade. I think this could have been a secret down there. Not entirely sure. Wow, very oh, almost missed the shield there. That blue light really makes it blend in. Alright. A couple of baddies to deal with. I think I'm actually going to switch to cycling because I know this is going to be a pretty big fight. So we just grab the this thing. Frame rate drops a little bit. Yeah, this is a big boy room. Quite the fight, actually. Ouch. Wow, a shutter actually managed to hit us in a wide open room. Amazing. There we go. Get the super upgrade. Grab a little bit of energy. So we still have a bunch of things to clear. So this is kind of the big sort of hub room, if you will. Connects us to pretty much every other part of the level. So first things first, um, let's get the green stuff. There's a bunch of scorpions here. Oh no, I thought it was going to kill this guy. Alright. Well, whatever. Can't have it all. Alright, grab this. Uh, grab the missile pods. And the upgrade point. Alright, good to go. First, maximum novas. You actually really use the premium weapons. Right, so if we go there... Um, oops. Wasn't meant to be like that. Right, we got the Triton. Now we're gonna get something else. Yes, we are. Yes! Very good. Okay. So now we can pick up that little Nova we left behind earlier. Grab the ammo. So what I actually want to do right now is clear the top area. So this loops back around to the to the early area in the first room. So that's where the super upgrade point was. You can also get the creepers now. Grab some shield or armor. Keep getting those two mixed up. And we're going to feed some Creeper SDs into this room. There's a bunch of enemies there. Alright, now we wait. Aha. Kraken wants a piece of us. Ah, there he is. Okay. So the way this works is the moment uh, I pick up the key, a lockdown is triggered. So let's just grab all this good stuff beforehand. It's not a very difficult uh, lockdown. But what we can do is we can kind of... I'm actually not going to creeper the place up preemptively. So there we go. Alright. Yeah, golems are really quite mean and insane. Fly really fast. They also um, just charge you. And the cooldown between charges is very, very short, so they just keep charging at you. Pretty dangerous spot. Grab the hunters here. Okay, so we do have two keys. In order to get to the uh, final area or the reactor, uh, we need three keys. 
So now we just loop back to the energy center room. Before we go and get the final key, we also go and save the hostages. There we go. All right. Have the super upgrade, and there's two on this side. Okay. Got them all. All right. So there's also this other tunnel here that takes us back to the key room that had the thunderbolt. Okay, we're back here. There's just multiple choices or you know, or multiple paths you can take. All right, that pretty much does that. And there's another secret that's kind of easy to miss. It's this floor here. Hiding under the floorboards is a super upgrade point. Grab level three security access. And um, grabbing this level three security access actually triggers a uh, an ambush. We have two super tritons waiting for us there. Uh, it, it's just a robot reveal, in case anyone's wondering. So yeah, there's a trigger on the key, uh, like a separate trigger, it's not an unpick up, it's a box trigger, but a small one. And I believe you can actually grab the key without triggering the uh, the ambush. I'm gonna say. Um, this edge could use a bevel, probably. Although, it's the same texture. The lighting changes too much so that there's a, too much of a contrast, so this should just be belled. A little bit of aesthetic criticism there. Alright. Grab all the missiles that the Tritons dropped. Yeah, we're looking pretty healthy now. Things got a little dicey. At one point. Alright, get the Triton. And ooh, we get spooky blue lava. Alright, Super Triton waiting for us. And mystery door number three. All right, so um, I kind of know what's waiting for us down there. Bunch of wow, man! The tracking of the Nova is crap if it's unupgraded. Incredible. Well, at any rate, they're dispatched, and we have a couple of bad guys waiting for us here. Uh, Driller again is very very good here. Alright, I'm gonna feed that goblin a uh, little sandwich. Very underwhelming performance from a premium missile, I wanna, wanna point out. Kind of expecting this thing to kill them more effectively, but whatever, can't have it all. Alright, so as you can see, there are a lot of reactor turrets here. Uh, there are actually safe spots. So for example here, nothing can target you. And there are four reactors, or uh, not reactors, but uh, power cores that you need to blow up in order to disable the shield. So that what you do is you go really close and then the turrets can't target you. And there you have it. Simple. Go for the other one. Ouch. There we go. Let's find a spot. There we go. Okay, I think one more. All right. All right. So this is the this is the sweet spot here. Okay, cool. So let's burn up some falcons. Burn up some missile pods. So I believe there are a couple of pickups here. Uh, this room will drain our energy quite substantially. I think I entered this bit with like 80 or 90 energy. I'm down to the 14. Alright, come on, blow up. Man, this thing took a sweet time. Alright, so the exit is right there. We're gonna grab these uh, missile pods that the super goblins dropped for us so kindly. And we're good to go. There we go. Iron mine is done. 
No further activity detected. Sector 5 Advanced Reconics Research. ETA 5 seconds. It's as if we're there already. Okay. Let's save this thing real quick. Let's check the stats quickly. No, wait, let's see if it's still a... <gasps> oh no! I missed an upgrade, but didn't miss a secret. Oh shit! Well, guys, I guess it's not a walkthrough anymore. Uh, yikes, missed an upgrade point. I wonder where it was. I knew I shouldn't have deviated from my uh, from my normal path. Oh man. Ah, whatever, it's not a huge loss. Guess it's just a regular old playthrough now. All right, let's see the stats real quick. Uh, scorpions. Apparently scorpions are the dangerous ones. Destruction count. I think there's actually more bots than this thing can display. So this thing can display only 10 bots. I'm pretty sure the level also had super goblins, so it doesn't even display those. So yeah, we destroyed a bunch of bots. 86. Um, timeline, weapons, psychic driller. Even killed a few guys with a thunderbolt. Yeah, TB is really quite good. Uh, Roller and Smith is rescued. Roberto Barzini. Hey, everyone's in stable condition apart from Bruno over here. Cool. Right, I think I already saved it though. Yeah, I already saved it. Okay, continue. Let's proceed deeper into the facility. Hey, look, codename Thunderbolt. Very exciting. We already have that bad boy though. Primaries. Let's see. Um, Crusher's a solid upgrade. But I'll instead, go for seconders to infuriate people even further. So, what I really want is. I kind of want Falcons, and I want Falcon MX missiles. I really like those bad boys. Uh, I also like Novas and Devastators quite a bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to do something I'm not normally. I normally don't. Do, which is, I think I'm gonna upgrade Devastators actually. Um, yeah, sure. Let's go. Devastator plus. Hunters are good without upgrades anyway. And I think Nova's really kind of need a boost too. Right, so let's see if we can upgrade something else. Yeah, let's go for Cyclone. Let's go for Cyclone X4. We don't see that guy too often. Well, I do, but you guys don't. Maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. And that's everything, I think. Yeah, we even burnt through our upgrade points for once. Cool. Let's continue. Right. Facility information. Uh huh. Apparently, the moon is Earth. Yeah, I know. There's, there's no easy way around that. Quick sip of water. So, at any rate, Sector 5 Advanced Robotics Research. Sector 5 is the main artificial intelligence and weapons research sector of the Antarctica Research Facility. Surprise, surprise. Our telemetry detects several advanced robots. Extreme caution is advised. Apparently we just have to locate the exit. Seems pretty straightforward. Oh, look, the little harp is imprisoned. Serves him right. Plasma using bastard. Yeah, this is actually a pretty big level. It takes a little while to load in. And this is our starting room, which is more like a starting cave. So this is the area we exited from, and this is the area we can, we're can we supposed to go to. Okay, so what do we have? We have full devs. Oh, we're gonna use one up immediately. And we now have manual detonation. And look, there's a cyclone here. I don't remember if that was actually a secret or not, because I think you can see it when you spawn in. Yeah, I think you can just see the edge of it when it spins around. All right, let's beat these guys to dev immediately. Kaboom. Very good. Alright, we got the upgrade point here, which I think is a secret. Alright, blow this ogre up. Good, good. Have a bunch of fans. Oh, look, restricted area. And if you look real closely, we can see a purple glow. I wonder what's behind it. Alright, blow this guy up. Hello! Look, it's a lava fall. And look, the textures there are all kind of fucky. Oh, wait. See, serves me right for turning my back on enemies. Yeah, so let's pretend that that bit over there is not screwed up. 
Uh, it, yes, everything has deformation in case you're wondering. Yes, everything is aligned to select that everything is supposed to work fine and yet this thing is looking like shit. I'm not sure what causes it. Whatever. Oh yeah, by the way, these lights are rotated 45 degrees so they align to this texture. It's kind of a neat little thing that I discovered. I think it looks cool. All right, so we have one secret here. Uh, that's a Valkyrie bot. These guys are very mean. Have a Vulcan cannon and they have a lot of shields or armor. They have a lot of the blue stuff. There we go. All right. Let's grab this, waste nothing. Hello, goodbye. Hello, Sleepy. Alright, we have a fan here. And as you can see, there are a bunch of force fields and a bunch of robots behind force fields. Now, fun fact, splash damage actually goes through force fields. So what happens is, you can, for example, take the flak out and kill this ogre or goblin. Let's kill this ogre while we're at it. Okay, they haven't dropped anything yet, but they will. See, there's a shield. You can't get that shield. And I figured that would infuriate some people. So what I did was, I added this uh, power core here. Well, there's actually four power cores around the, this sort of tunnel. But this actually disables all the force fields. So you can destroy these robots, and I guess sacrifice a little bit of energy or, or missiles to get other kind of loot. So super bots are always guaranteed to drop something. So for example, the super goblin always drops missile blasts. The super ogre always drops novas. Well, not novas, it drops a single nova. And so yeah, we have a we have four quadrants, if you will. With these four sealed bots. A couple of super gorgons here. Which is really a robot I should use more. I really like super gorgons. They're not too tough, but they are uh, they're just mean enough and they always drop you something useful, which is kind of cool. Actually, I don't think I'm going to blow all these bots up because you get the gist of it. They don't, they don't fight back. They drop a bit of loot here and there. But I'm kind of running low on energy and I don't have too much ammo either. So I don't really want to burn my resources here. Uh, yes, there is going to be an energy center uh, soon-ish. But we're not there yet, so I don't really want to waste my resources here. Man, these missiles don't want to go against the Tritons. All right, get the shredder. So this area here... Um, you can get a little bit of a performance drop when kind of looking into that door because a bunch of segments get loaded in and unloaded. So it's one of the few areas that does have a performance drop on this mission pack. That is, you know, very noticeable. The other one was the uh, the big energy center dogfight room in the previous level. That one also had a little bit of a slowdown. All right, yeah, Guardians here. So generally, I don't like Guardians because they're pseudo hitscan robots. Mm, but in this case, they're so far away that even if they shoot... Alright, try to make a shot, buddy. See, it's actually dodgeable at this range. So, the thing with Guardians is if they're far enough away... Uh, they're not too much of a threat, and they're not too infuriating. So that's how I kind of like to place them in my levels. Just put them quite far away. And uh, they don't feel too cheap. Alright. Running really low on ammo. Get the flak. I'm just gonna double double check real quick that I didn't miss anything. Yeah, it looks like we got everything. I actually quite like this room. Quite happy with how it turned out. All right, let's check the map real quick because this area is a bit symmetrical. Yeah, we have to go left. So uh, the way this works is uh, there is actually another um, door here, which is uh, also a security one. But we want to go back to the first one in the start of the level. And this is a neat little room that gives us the Thunderbolt, officially. And it also gives us two Hunter Packs, which you can pick up. Because I don't use these missiles. Alright. And now we can progress. Go extra fast by boosting and doing a little bit of a 
uh, smash attack. So we're going 16.8, 16.9. Oh, round of boost. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll demonstrate in a second. So let's go at full speed. All right, so we're 16. Uh, boom, we can like pop to 20 for a split second there. All right. Lessons over. Let's get that guy. I could have sworn there was more enemies here. Yeah, yeah, there you are. Little bastard. All right, let's let's test the reflex. No, sorry, crusher. Oh yeah, look at that. That weapon's good even without upgrades. Yeah, so I think like crusher without upgrades is basically the crusher that we have in multiplayer, which is still really good. But if you upgrade the crusher, it becomes even more busted. Yeah, as you can see, this is uh, this is very effective. Use up quite a bit of ammo, so I guess we're switching over to Cyclone now, for now. All right, get these guys. Uh, yes, I, before you ask, I tried to fix the green glow. Um, didn't quite work out. All right, we have a Cyclone slinging Hydra on the other side. All right, so I believe... Aha, uh -huh, okay, we get a Phantom here. Ooh, even drops us a cloak. Very exciting. So there's a Supernova pack. This is a secret. Um... I'm just gonna grab this and go through this bit real quick. There's just going to be a lockdown here. I'm gonna get the key. Boom, and because we have the cloak, this is going to be even more trivial. Even though this is not a difficult lockdown, it has just a bunch of organs and a couple of shredders, I think. And I guess a token scorpion. Because of course there is. One of those guys. Alright, grab this. Oh dear, what happened here? I don't like this one bit. Didn't even notice that before. What the hell caused that? This is not supposed to be like this. Oh well. It's a community pack. Well, not really a community pack. A community member pack, I guess. See, had I, had I had more people working on this, I probably wouldn't have these stupid little mistakes in here. Alright. Bye bye. There we go. That guy's toast. Okay, I think I got everything. Uh, so yeah, this this is the where the security door is up there. Uh, we have our energy center here. Some green glow bleed all the way down here. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little atrocious, but what are you gonna do? Well, a reasonable person would fix it, but that's not happening. Hello, Melinda Corningstone. Alright. Okay, I think we have everything here. So we have the keys. Wait a second. Yeah, so that was security one. That's going to be security two. Let's grab the energy real quick. Fun fact, I was actually meant to add a secret there. And I never did. Damn it. It just, uh, it just fits so perfectly like there could be a secret here, but there isn't. Hello, okay, we have one of those green bastards again. Yeah, so Valkyries really are quite nasty. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Alright, we're gonna get into a little fight now. So this area has a bunch of reflex bots. There we go. Krakens have been dealt with. Oh, you sneaky bastard. Get over here. Yeah, Falcon MX. These things deal quite a bit of damage. There we go. Ooh, I actually can't see the projectiles on this lava background. Alright, get a little lava fall. A couple of upgrade points. A Devastator that of course I can't pick up. But I will be able to in a second. Wow, I actually splashed myself there a bit. Alright. Waste nothing. Lots of full Novas. Hmm. Oh yeah, right. Little secret here. I think these are both secrets. I'm not entirely sure. 
it is kind of obvious though, like if you actually pay attention to it. There we go. Handle these little reflex slinging bastards. Flew into that one. Ah, oh, yeah, nice and Nova Green. If you go real close, I blind you. Mm. But yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much reaching the conclusion of the level. We have a little golden tunnel that leads us to this room with the exit. And check this out: the exit's unlocked. Oh, I guess I'll just dum de dum de dum go to the exit. Oh wait, never mind. Of course not. Maybe the splashing isn't worth it. Hello there. Oh, look, we have a time bomb over here to help us deal with this lockdown. There's also a uh, time bomb down here. A couple of uh, creeper slingers. I believe it says Scourge and the Burst Certificate. There we go. Grab the armor, grab the creepers. Yeah, this room has a lot of good stuff in it. You can get quite uh, quite stocked up if you don't use a lot of missiles here. Grab this upgrade point. Uh, I want to say we pretty much have everything. There's a funky looking bullshit here that I hadn't noticed before. These bevels look kind of funky. I'm not sure I liked them too much. But it is what it is. Alright, I think I got everything. I do have a tendency to kind of evade these pillars in the way, kind of hide things like right behind the pillars, so I do have to double check. Alright, I think we got everything. I mean, this isn't the walkthrough anymore anyway, as we've already established. There we go. Boom. Antarctica Research Facility, objective complete. New destination, Sector 6, geothermal energy production. Hey, nice level time. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, we got everything. Yes, seven secrets, seven, uh, five cryo tubes, nine upgrades. Yeah, it's it's kind of a walkthrough. Trust me, guys. All right, let's uh, save this bad boy, and let's continue the geothermal energy production. Something, I think so. All right, so we have a bunch of upgrade points. Um, uh, just to piss off a special viewer, we're not getting flight speed. We're going to conniption soon enough. Um, right, let's uh, let's grab some more secondary, shall we? Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so I do like Devastator Plus because that actually increases our Devastator um, count or max count. Well, we can have up to Devastator capacity. I think is the word I'm looking for here. Uh, allows us to go up to eight. Uh, going for Nova Plus Plus allows us to go up to ten Nova Nova no, Nova. I think it's spelled N O. N-O-V-A-E, right? That's the plural for Nova. So it's still Nova. We can have 10 Nova. All right. Um, upgrading missile pods, obviously, is just really, really, really good. Um, so I'm going to be boring, and I'm just going to upgrade missile pods to missile pod XS variants. So this is higher damage and more max ammo. So max ammo gets increased by 20%. We go from 100 max to uh, 120. Let's get these bad boys. Um... Obviously, the temptation is there to go for a crusher. Uh, what can we upgrade in a ship that is uh, really quite nice? Uh, actually, I'm going to go for blast protection. I really like that. Uh, could go for one of the ammo weapons. I mean, I don't already have Cyclone++ plus plus for the energy category. Uh, I mean, crusher and driller are just so good already anyway. I mean, Crusher Plus just gives a reduced firing delay, and same with the Driller, it's just like high rate of fire. Um, so you really need to plus plus upgrade for it to, you know, be very impactful. So I don't really think I want to go for that. Um, yeah, so I think I'll just go for Hunters. Let's get Hunter Plus. And we are good to go. We'll quickly check. 
Yeah, accessory energy isn't that exciting. Might get maximum ammo. That's actually kind of a nice thing to get. Alright, continue. So, geothermal energy production. Sector 6 is the secondary energy production facility of the Antarctic Research Facility. Unknown even to most people working in the secret sectors, a large underground facility of unknown origin was discovered underneath Antarctica. Ooh, spooky. And our mission objective is to locate uh, the structure. All right, cool, let's go. Geothermal energy production. <laughs> Barely fits. I think I actually removed sector six from the name so that it would fit. Fun fact for you. All right. All right, so this is, we have a secret here. So the way this works is we have these upgrade points here. We have the secret door here. There's a reflex down there. There's a switch here. Door unlocked. Boom. Open that. And we get our super upgrade point. whoop to do So we have two choices. We can take gold or blue. I pretty much always take blue for whatever reason. Gold takes us to an energy center. Blue takes us to not energy center. And um, yeah, we get the fun fact, we can actually get the Lancer in this room, which is kind of nice. Uh-oh. Come on. Let's just creeper this guy. Well. Yeah, ST's track pretty fast. I am impressed. Alright. Uh, get the ammo. I'm actually going to use the crusher for a little while. Just kidding. I'm using the lancer now because I just got it. Also, does it... Oh, right. I didn't have to upgrade the plus plus. Okay. It's no biggie. We'll just use up one right here. Can I get the... Yeah, double kill. Now we're cooking. Uh, this this edge here is a little sharpish. I'm kind of... Yeah, like from a certain angle it looks like shit. So there you have it. Little details that I've messed up. Oh yes, oh yes. Use up all the energy. Good damage now. Oh shit. Alright, we're doing the creepers. <laughs> Goodbye, Valkyrie. Wait. There we go. There's one more guy here. Oh shit, there's a Triton. Wait, this guy isn't supposed to be here. Oh, son of a bitch came from the next room. You cheeky little fatty. Alright. Yeah, okay, this Lancer business is really draining my energy. Let's do some Crusher in the meantime. There we go. <laughs> my god, this is a fucking ridiculous weapon. Oh, whoops, sorry. That's a bad, naughty word. Ouch. There we go. Get this guy, grab this up, uh, upgrade the point. And then get this time bomb. Alright. Oh my god, just double tap that fool. Alright. I like Gorgons there, though. They make me feel so powerful. Alright. Alright. Cyclone time. So I'm not gonna show uh, a weird kind of a bug type thing. So if we go down here, you'll see that these guys appear. And I'm not sure what causes this, because I could have sworn like this chunk should be loaded in, but for whatever reason these bots are not. Uh, and I don't really know what causes this. So, fun fact, if you actually shoot Novas into the lava here without ever going down here... Oh, see, see that the these things, they like fade in and out of existence, right? So then they fade out of existence and you fire a Nova down into the lava. That Nova will not kill them, by the way. So this is a, kind of a weird glitch that I found, uh, or bug or whatever, that I found on this level. And I had no idea, or I have no idea how to kind of fix or, or change that. Not sure what causes it. Can I? Oh, I can't fit behind this. Oh, but I can't fit then. Okay, cool. So you can hide yourself from your responsibilities. All right, get the upgrade point. And uh, I think we're almost done here. Grab the Nova. Of course, we can't grab the Nova. Naturally. I don't use good missiles. 
Uh, okay, so this is the progress area. If we go back here, this is uh, this is the gold tunnel from the starting room. So, just to kind of give you an idea, this is this is where we are. So if we go here, huh? Very nice. Go through here, and this is where we already cleared out all the pots. And there you have it. What? That wasn't enough to kill it. I call bullshit. Let's fire another one in. Okay, Gorgon, Silver Shredder. Very good, very good. Wow, another one. Hello. Okay, so the way this room works is uh, there is this texture that doesn't line up quite properly. But that's not really the point of the room. The point of the room is this key card over there. And. Oh, it nearly bounced into the switch. Uh, so if you shoot the switch, the force field disappears. But guess what? There's also a lockdown that is triggered by that. So what we're gonna do before we do all that fun stuff is we're gonna go here and we're gonna save some hostages. <laughs> Babe sip. Alright, Nora Winter is also Heinrich Schutz. Marian Bulgaren. Okay. Cool. So get all these people. And I'm just gonna grab the upgrade so that I don't forget like I did on one level. Although I was pretty oblivious to the fact that I even missed it in the first place. Uh, right. Yeah, that looked cool. Alright, get this guy, get this guy. There we go. This is actually a somewhat of a dangerous uh, lockdown. This will have Valkyries. Although this honestly hasn't been too bad so far. Yeah, I got kind of lucky that the Valkyries didn't spawn in. Oh shit. There we go. <laughs> Flew into a goblin as it was, or not a goblin, but a golem as it was spawning in. Yeah, I got kind of lucky. If the Valkyries spawn in, in the midst of all the other bots, it is noticeably more difficult. This was a pretty tame version of this. Oh my god, I don't believe this. Right, so this bastard spawned in right behind me, pretty much in point blank range. This is what I get. Yeah. Spoke too soon. As per usual. But I am still alive, so there's that. Okay, so uh, now we have the uh, key card to get through or to get through the security door. But I'm going to go and fill up my energy real quick before we proceed. Cool. I know there's another one top there. Waste nothing. All right. Okay. Okay. We're ready. We're ready. So time to go down here. Mm -hmm. Open this bad boy. Feed them a Nova. Wait. This guy actually dodged it, and it killed a super ogre. Interesting. All right. Whatever. We're busting out the devs. Okay, one of them survived. And hooray, we get the blue light bleed. Wait, I've never seen it like this before, though. It's supposed to be in that corner over there. What the heck? Yeah, so basically, depending which direction you come from, uh, the blue tunnel that we went through in the initial stages can bleed over to this cave. I've never seen it bleed over to like this bit here. This is very peculiar indeed. Well, whatever. Man, I love the Nova Missile. I just, like, the aesthetics of it, it just looks so cool. Alright, so, now we have- oh, hello. Oh, you got a license for that Thunderbolt? Guess not. Alright, so this, uh, this, uh, Super Scourge or Xeno Scourge, actually drops uh, a Thunderbolt guaranteed. So this is a custom drop, and it also drops a Super Rocket Point. So that's how you get the Thunderbolt if you missed it in the um, in the previous level. Wait, nothing died from that? Okay, one of them is going to bite the dust now. There we go. Man, these Novas have been 
terribly underwhelming. And these creepers just keep spinning around. Alright, should deal with that trite. Maybe not. Okay, creepers aren't interested in doing their job anymore, apparently. But it's okay. Right, so there's a secret here with 12 vortices. Or 12 vortex missiles. See, I've been brushing up on my English. Alright, um, so before we grab that, let's fill up the energy. And now, we can have 110. Alright, grab this super upgrade. There should be another upgrade point here. I don't think this is a secret, it's really out in the open. And ooh, look, we have a spooky purple room. Uh oh. Oh, hello, that's a reaver. So this lockdown has one of every single robot in the game, I think. Well, okay, that's not entirely true. Uh, it has basically one of each uh, normal Kronos Frontier bots, I think. Maybe I put variants in, I'm not entirely sure. Alright. Drop these fools. Okay, so... Alright, so you can see there's a teleporter behind that uh, force field. Lockdown bridge deactivated, and now the Goliaths spawn in. But we have to kill the Goliaths. Okay, we're gonna pop a time bomb here. Things are gonna get a little hot here. Alright, just focus this guy down. Alright, got one. Alright, let's finish the other. Uh, this weapon's a bit slow. Noah's not really helping. Let's see if it... Oh, it almost connected. Not quite. Alright, let's pop this guy with a Devastator. Another one. There we go. Force fields disabled. Uh, this is going to be a pretty short uh, countdown, by the way. Or self-destruct sequence. What are we gonna have? Oh no, wait, sorry, never mind. I got rid of the self-destruct sequence. Yeah, so there's no self-destruct sequence right now. It just opens up, so you can kind of take it at your own pace. I, I wanted to kind of give the player the, the chance to just kind of explore around a little bit. And uh, take it at their own pace. Because there is a bunch of loot in this room that can really come in handy. And you can also go back and fill up your energy if you want to. Alright. Oh look, it's a glitch light. Awesome. Boom. Nautica research facility. Complete. Minor activity detected because we didn't really destroy the facility now, did we? Sector 7 engine refinery, ETA 15 seconds, yada yada. Very nice. Let's see the stats real quick. No, actually before we do that. Yeah, got everything! So let's put it this way. Um, out of the 8 levels, I think 7 are going to be walkthroughs and then one level is... Uh, Technically not a walkthrough. So let's see. Uh, view stats. Uh, do, 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 do. Right. Ogres did a bunch of damage. Tritons did a bunch of damage. Uh, Cyclone's good. Crusher's good. Lancer is going to be very good with an upgrade. Um, maybe not going to be good in in this video, but but who knows? I do like the uh, the Lancer quite a lot. It's very powerful with the C upgrade. So anyway, yeah. Falcons missile pods. Pretty even. Uh, damage distribution and uh, apparently there was some auto-op related damage. I'm not sure uh, if the auto-op explosions do also deal friendly damage, I want to say those also deal friendly damage. And then obviously the friendly fire incidents that the bots can get. Pretty sure missile bots can blow each other up and I'm not sure if the if like a Kraken hits another bot with like a stray laser bolt if that deals damage. I, I want to say can kind of deal damage maybe. Right so what do we have? Uh, Oh, Mr. Bulgarian is not doing so well. Critical condition. Alright, cool. Uh, did I save already? No, I didn't. Alright, overwrite. And continue to Ancient Refinery. Alright, what do we have here? Ooh, upgrades. Nice. Okay, so... <laughs> Flight speed, I don't think so. Um, let's see, what do we have? Uh, we can go, f actually I'm gonna go Vortex XG. That's what I'm gonna go for. See, that's the that's the big brain hidden 
mind game play. Uh, we could go for max time bomb. I'm not going to just yet. I'm actually going to have a lot of spare, like basic points. We could go for Lancer Plus. That reality is I'm probably going to go for like a Crusher upgrade. Because that's boring. And vanilla and tame. Upgrade Devastator, upgrade Nova. Uh, I do like Devastators. And I like the PT. This is the one that actually has higher damage potential. So it says here, at, oh, you know, higher damage, a bigger explosion, or more shrapnel, and yada, yada, yada. Uh, the thing that I discovered during testing, because the because of the hull piercing ability, if the Devastator pierces the hull, and then you blow the Devastator up inside the bot, it deals over 500 damage. Uh, I tested it on, like, boss robots. And um, the Devastator excess, I think if you, like, do, like, a direct hit, it deals around 300 something damage which is still very powerful if it if it's just like a basic devastator pt explosion without the hull penetration then yes excess is more powerful but with the hull penetration mm, it's very good it's especially satisfying if there's like a fairly tight tunnel with a lot of enemies and you just fire a devastator like through a bunch of bots it's just it's like the missile equivalent of a thunderbolt shot it feels great all right, uh, I think I'm going for a maximum ammo because that's totally better. And uh, I think I, I think I also need some smash damage. Yeah, I'm I'm really feeling that. Yeah, I'm gonna get punched online for that one. All right, uh, let's uh, let's uh, hmm hmm yeah let's let's also go for uh, for accept. No, never mind. We're not going for that. All right, so this is the ancient refinery. Mm, Sector 7 is uh, but a small isolated area of the massive ancient refinery. So yeah, the idea is that this like ancient refinery thing is like this huge facility uh, with multiple sectors and then you kind of have like the teleportation technology to move in between these sectors, which isn't really a possibility in this in this uh, particular one, but uh, well, that was kind of the kind of the mental image that I had of the place. Uh, the ancient refiner, along with the salvage from the Kronos Frontier incident, has been the key for many of the technological advancements that have rapidly taken place recently. The sentence sounds a little, little weird. Our telemetry is also detecting several other parts of the refiner powering up and starting auto production independently from human input. It's self aware. We believe this ancient facility is the source of the recent aberrant robot behavior. Uh, so yeah, basically spooky, mystical underground pyramid underneath Antarctica is fucking everything up. Uh, or that's the rough gist of it. All right, lock it, exit portal. So yeah, the idea is we just gotta get out of here and get to the center eight through this ancient refinery facility. So right now we're inside the pyramid, and if we find the exit portal, we get outside the pyramid into like a very deep part of the the A Antarctic Research Facility. At least that was the idea in my head. I don't know how well these little exposition dumps uh, convey that idea. Uh, all right, let's play. Teleporting to ancient refinery. Ooh, and you can't take the exit portal. Cool. All right, so there are a bunch of secrets here. Get the super up here point here. Ah, oh, there we go. And Novi the secret. Oh yeah, and there's a thunderbolt in the starting room. So if you cold start this level, you can have a pretty, a reasonably strong start. Let's put it that way. Uh, all right, let's feed some creeper sts for this guy. There we go, Inviculus. And this one Inviculus uh, has a guaranteed Lancer spawn. So stop it. And that's the uh, that's the robot that uses the Lancer normally. And this is how you get the Lancer kind of officially. I guess you pick it up from the robot that you kill. Hey, you got all of them. Cool. All right, so. Oh my God, that hurt. There we go. Uh, all right, let's speed up some creepers. Yeah, so the level, uh, the, or this level, is kind of the single player version of the um, multiplayer level called Ancient that I made. So 
So yeah, the aesthetics and everything is very similar. Kind of has a lot of this sort of uh, pyramid witchy type uh, shape thing going on. Witchy type shape? Wait, that can't be right. What am I saying? Alright, let's feed this guy some Novas. I know there's a bunch of bots in this room. Yeah, I made it. I know what's coming. Alright, we have this bastard to deal with. Alright, let's pop him with the crusher. Jeez, this is a good weapon. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we have a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt fella sneaking up on us. Get the Gorgon. And there's a phantom behind us. Uh, he came from the EC in case somebody's wondering. There we go. So yeah, the, the EC was sort of trapped. There we go. Just crush these fools. Alright. There is a... Yeah, there's, so there's a cyclone in the energy center. So if you like that gun, you can get it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think these will home in on him. Are they? Oh yeah, right, they, they owned it on the Inviculus that was in the lower area. So there was like an Inviculus waiting there. Right, right. Wait, that was another Hulk there, or Triton. Where's the sneaky bastard going? Ah, oh, there he is. There we go. I think I'm gonna use a drill around this guy. Yeah. Turns out sniping's pretty powerful. Right, and th so this is the bit that kind of loops back to the starting area. So where you like initially choose which way you take the blue or the orange way. The blue way can pretty much take you to the three goblins and then you can immediately go down the lower areas. Grab the super upgrade point. Yeah, there's quite a few goods here. All right, and now we can. Well, we, we can. There's no security access here, so you can pretty much go deeper immediately. But because this was at least trying to be a walkthrough, I tried to clear pretty much everything in the level. Uh, all right, so let's get the crusher out. And now I get to use the XG vortex. I love this thing. Yeah, there we go. Hit by Xenokraken. Xenokrakens, by the way, have very high health. They're exceptionally tanky bots. Sweet dreams, Shredder boy. Alright, there we go. There's a secret there that leads us to the secret level. But before we go there, I want to kind of clear out this area here. So this is actually where the level is, like the actual level ancient. And I guess we'll do this secret now. Teleport into Asteroid Outpost Delta. So this is, uh, yeah, coming to think of it, I haven't actually published this yet, have I? Uh, I made the CTF version called Fast Blast. But this is the actual like challenge mode version of the level. Oh, and it doesn't have the, like, the, the, the shortcut to the tunnel that I later added in. Yeah, I've actually enhanced this level somewhat. Yeah, so there's like a, in the CTF version, there's no fan here, and you can just go like into the caves from here. And ooh, look, stars. There we go. All right. Oof. Cheeky teleporter bot. Oh yeah, I think there's enough room behind the fan that the teleport bot can actually teleport behind the fan and get stuck. Fun fact for you. Has happened before. Alright, we're gonna pop 
time bomb and we're gonna hit the the middle room. Ooh, that hurts. Wait, was that a yeah that's a scourge. Yeah, so this is where it gets kind of dicey. On insane, this I've, I've noticed that this challenge mode level is surprisingly difficult because it's actually not that big. It's because the uh, it's also because the uh, cave area doesn't loop to that uh, side tunnel that has the window into space. Uh, once once I added that, it really kind of opened the level up a bit and made it a lot more uh, easy to get through. Like honestly, just doing like loops in this cave area is pretty powerful on this level. I've noticed. All right, let's feed him some creepers. Yeah, yeah, we're 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 definitely in the money. One more kill, and I think we're done. I think it was forty kills. Yeah. There we go. Let's blow this guy up. Let's grab these shield pickups, and not enough time to get anything else. Wow, like five shields <laughs> left behind. That would have been quite nice to have. But yeah, whatever. It's not a huge deal. And we're back. All right, grab all this good stuff, and now I'm gonna get the creeper pack. Oh, hello. All right, so I did aggro these guys. Oh shit. Okay. Hello. So it is worth pointing out that this isn't the same layout as ancient. It is a little bit altered. So if you take this side to go to the green room, it isn't. The green room isn't actually linked to the uh, to like the main room back there where the super uh, normally spawns. So it's just a dead end here, but you do get an upgrade point, which is nice. Hello there, reflex kraken. What's a kraken? <laughs> uh, probably deserve to be shot for that one. At any rate, uh, time to go to the blue blue room. Blue 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 room. All right, get the triton. Oh, hello. Yeah, it looks like I really. It really seems to like making these little scorpion ambushes. There we go. Bolt finally hit him. <laughs> Alright, grab all this stuff. So there's, that's where the security access is. It's in the blue room. And if you go into the red room, uh, there's another super harpy here. And you actually progress through the red room. Before we go there, we're just gonna grab all this good stuff. Get this. All right, and we're good to go. All right, we have a Xeno Guardian there. It's not a huge problem. Awesome, I'm just gonna snipe him with the... There we go. Homing weapons are a lifesaver. So this is where the level uh, originally glit... Oh my God, come on, dude. So this is originally where the level glitched out. All right, let's just feed him some creepers. Oh, of course they bailed on me. All right. Uh, this was supposed to be a lockdown, but the game would glitch out. The, the lockdown would not work properly. What would happen is there would be too many, like the lockdown counter would be too high. And I think that had something to do with the secret level. There was some sort of a weird thing going on where it just, it, it would not cooperate with me. So the game basically kind of like, I think the scripting or something sort of froze. So instead we kind of have this uh, tamer version. So this area used to be considerably harder if it worked as a lockdown because all the bots would converge on you. Uh, now you basically just have to activate them as you go to the individual corners of the of this area. Come on. There we go. All right, got a bunch of them. So there are two power cores that open the central door. That then allows you to progress. And the central door, of course, is this one over here with the purple lights to kind of indicate that it's kind of important. All right, uh, there's also a couple of secrets. This isn't it, but I think the green one had a secret and I think the, the room opposite of green had a secret also. Nope, it wasn't green, it was the purple one, I think. Okay, so the door is open. 
Uh, we can escape this uh, this hellish place and look, four upgrade points, two of each. I'm getting the creeping suspicion that I possibly missed an upgrade point somewhere in this level. I tend to miss like one somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, what the heck? Hello. Cheeky, cheeky Triton, try to escape. Huh. Yes, this goes this way and this goes like perpendicular to it. It's a symmetrical thing, I can show it on the map. It's not terribly exciting, but it's I kind of, I quite like it. Alright, so, uh, this pretty much concludes Sector 7. Ooh, there we go. Several energy spikes detected. New destination, Sector 8, Nuclear Heart, ETA 0 seconds. We are actually there this time. Okay, so what do we have? Son of a bitch, missed a secret. Not a... Oh, I know, I know it! I know where it was, I know where it was. So this was in the red room. If you shoot the ceiling, that's where the su two super upgrade points are. In the in the red room, right before the like the security door, you go back back through through the red tunnel, and then in the ceiling you shoot it. There's two super upgrade points in the secret. I, it's it's totally still a walkthrough. I promise. All right, save game. Uh, ancient refinery. I, I knew I, I was forgetting something, but whatever. It's not a huge deal. All right, so fourteen krakens, eighty one ops total, self inflicted. Cool, let's see, what do we have? Total secondary damage. Creepers are pretty good. Cyclone's pretty good, so is Crusher. Yeah, no hostages though. Okay, so I think we saved this already. Yeah, we saved it. And let's continue to nuclear heart. Oh, nice little thump. <laughs> yeah, it's because the wind tunnel actually slams us where the exit sequence is. That's where it, uh, it smashes against the wall as we exit the level. Right, in light of recent events, the board has decided that the Antarctic Research Facility needs to be destroyed. Surprise, surprise. Our telemetry is detecting large-scale auto fabrication taking place in the ancient refinery. Ruh -ruh. Uh, one of the survivors has also informed us that the ancient structure is of alien origin, which is consistent with the salvage from the Cronus frontier, and that the auto ops appear to be controlled by an alien intelligence. I'm just gonna wait this thing to draw, uh, write itself out a bit. Uh, the refinery is drawing large amounts of energy from the main ARF reactor in Sector 8. Our telemetry suggests that Sector 8 reactor has been heavily fortified and two behemoth class auto ops have been detected near the main reactor. The destruction of this reactor is imperative as it will lead to the destruction of the ARF, uh, the alien refinery, and by our estimates, the alien threat for the time being. So, uh, yeah, you you better blow it up, please. Thank you. Okay, so let's check the upgrades. We have a lot of points to burn. Um, I think secondaries, if I want to be super safe, I'm just going to upgrade the time bomb. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of my plan B. If things get diced, I'm just going to pop a time bomb LT. Mm, what else should we go for? Um, I kind of want an ammo weapon upgraded. I'm leaning towards flak because I don't really like flak very much. Uh, it has its moments. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go flak VK. I do like the sound that it makes. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah! Thank God I have the smash damage. I've been smashing things left and right. Um, boost cooling I actually quite like. Boost speed I actually quite like as well. I mean, okay, fine. For the finale, I'll get flight speed. Continue. All right. So nuclear heart. The Sector 8 reactor serves as the main energy source for the entire facility. The reactor is located very deep and is only reachable using experimental short-range teleportation technology. So yeah, a portal like flings you in there. Our telemetry suggests that the behemoth class autops detected are linked to the reactor shielding. Extreme caution is advised. So yeah, the, the gimmick here is you blow up the bosses and then you can blow up the power cores that then disable the reactor force field. That's how it works. Okay. Overload to main reactor, yada yada. Let's play. Teleport to nuclear heart. Super auto ops are especially dangerous. Watch out for their red glow. All right. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah. So this is the one 
area that I kind of break my own rule and this Hydra unfortunately pretty much engages you immediately, which I, I don't really like too much, but it is what it is. So I have two choices, so blue or yellow, just like two levels ago. Um, I always go blue for whatever reason. Uh, must re resist temptation. All right, get these guys. All right, what is this Valkyrie doing? Dying, apparently. So that room should be locked, if I recall correctly. Yes, it is. Or that door, rather. Oh yeah, and you, th there is no way to squeeze past this thing. But you can see all these delicious goodies on the other side. Soon. Uh-oh. Not a Gorgon. Wow. Wait, the creepers actually weren't enough. Interesting. I thought three creepers would destroy it for sure. Apparently not. Guess I've been playing on Hotshot way too much. Hello. Alright, these guys really don't like me here. Anyway, the reason why I'm going to the right side first is because there's actually an energy center here. There's a secret with falcons here. And... Wait, there's a... Okay, so here's the weird thing. There's supposed to be a reaver here, and sometimes it disappears. And I'm not sure what happens. I'm not sure why it disappears. But sometimes it doesn't show up. I... Maybe he gets clipped out of the map. Not sure. I'm actually kind of curious, so... Uh, I'm actually going to cheat real quick. Um, I, I know, it, it totally destroys the integrity of the whole thing, but I'm just going to astral out real quick and then de-astral myself. No. He's actually nowhere to be seen. Little bastard is not around. Whatever. Uh, and we're de-astraling now. See? No problem. Alright, grab the Nova. No Nova, 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 Nova. Yeah, anyway. Whatever the correct way of saying it is, I got him. Okay, so let's get out of this place. I don't know. Slowly but surely progressing to the blue side of things, but before we go there, uh, there's another room here. Oh, right, there's a. Of course, there's a guardian there. And there are pretty much all the primary weapons behind force fields. So what we can do is we can shoot out these switches. This opens a door here. And we can blow out this little reactor. Or, again, power core, not reactor. I keep messing that up. And now we can grab all these weapons to get max ammo and energy and yada yada yada. But when we do gr try to grab them, a few scorpions spawn in. There we go. Cool, got him. I'm gonna use the crusher a little bit. No, actually, I'm gonna use a flat because I, I mean, I upgraded the thing. Everything's out of range though. Oh dear. Don't claw me. There we go. Get this guy. Get this guy. Yeah, I mean, the DPS is actually pretty nice on this weapon. And I love the sound that it makes. It sounds fantastic. I rolled the Daka. Alright. Okay, so let's show off the little secret that this room has. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, I thought somebody was missing from the party. So there are these time bombs that I eh, eh, can't quite reach. Oh, it's just a little too fat. Fun fact this opening is two units. So this is exactly half a default segment, and the Kodachi cannot fit through that. I believe the Pyro from the Descent franchise can actually fit through a half a full segment gap. There we go, door unlocked. So this unlocked this door over here. I can go into this cool thingy. And you can see out. Uh, fun fact, a robot can actually get blown through this uh, gap here. 
I think it has some unintended side effects on its AI. Just a little fun, fun little bit of trivia for you. All right, so when we destroy this reactor, this is required for disabling the force fields. I believe if you destroy the second one, that's when the the ambush is triggered. Uh, like these doors will open and oh wow, that blaze got flinged out of there, hard. Holy crap. All right, got him. Yeah, so I actually nerfed these spawners because uh, initially this was a much more difficult room, but these spawners were just spawning a bot, I think every like two or three seconds and it, it was actually quite easy to get um, quite overwhelmed. I mean, it's easy to, to beat this room if you know that these things are opening and you just kind of preemptively start like firing in the areas. But if you're playing it for the first time, I didn't want it to be uh, terribly difficult, so. So yeah, this room was actually one of the areas that I ended up making easier. All right, let's go down now. And we get to the main attraction of this uh, level. Well, okay, maybe not the main attraction, but certainly an area I'll be spending quite a bit of time in. I call it uh, the Lava Loop. So yeah, the way this thing looks is there's a... Oh look, it, yeah, for whatever reason, the boss area also loads in. I'm not sure what causes it. It's probably the disconnected areas somehow being kind of rendered in uh, or something. I'm not sure what causes it, but at any rate, it gets loaded in, even though they're different chunks. And even though I've never even been there yet. Right, so um, yeah, this area basically just loops around. I'm just gonna clear this whole area before I start getting the key cards. Or security keys or security accesses, whatever they're called. They're gonna have to wait a little bit. Oof, nice. Hit a Vulcan burst there. Okay, not to Valkyrie. I personally really like these like horizontal bars. Really quite happy with how this area turned out. Oh look. Here's another area. And this like loops back to the energy center room there. So this is where the where this bit takes us. And we have some vortex missiles here. Missiles that I haven't really been using a lot. I think I actually have Oh yeah, I picked up super packs. I have 36 Vortex XGs. Sweet! Yeah, they're actually going to be pretty handy soon enough. Um, hello? Oh. I guess the creepers just didn't deal enough damage. Yeah, I, I kind of have my sort of damage sense a little messed up because I generally play test these things real quickly on Hotshot for the most part. And they're... Uh, the robots just take more damage, or rather, they have less health. Okay, so we have this uh, key. Uh, this door locks as you come in. So the idea is you can't really hit the second reactor or power core consistently when your projectile has to go through one, two, and then three grates. So the whole idea is once you come into the room, the door locks because otherwise you can soft lock yourself. Well, you can actually not soft lock, you can actually hard lock yourself out of the out of the level progression because what happens is you could be outside the room, open the door, fire a dev at the second core and then the door just locks and the room goes into lockdown and I don't want that. So instead uh, you pretty much have to come into the room, the door locks after you and then it, when it, once you destroy the power cores uh, we're gonna have a little lockdown here Happy little lockdown. And this tracking is still garbage. Whatever, let's feed him some Novas. Alright, there's supposed to be a Xeno Guardian spawning in very soon. Wow, I think it's actually gonna be the last bot. Nope. 
No, yeah, might be the last spot spawning in. Incredible. For once the robot threat progression kind of worked. As one would imagine. Biggest guy spawning in last. And there's two time bombs. I believe this is actually a secret. I don't think this if this will show up in the stats screen if I have full count of a weapon and I can't pick up the thing that, that is marked as a secret pickup. All right. So yeah, so this pit, it takes us back to the blue tunnel. So we're pretty much looped around at this point. Uh, we have two of the security keys. We need three to progress to the boss area. So the final one is, this is where the goblins were. A little golden goblin tunnel. Uh, there's a little one there. I think we got the, yeah, we got the top one. So there's technically a goblin that like ambushes you as you come through. Oh look, chunk pops in. At any rate. There we go. Right, so the way this works is uh, here it's also technically possible to soft lock yourself. Because you can like shoot the switches from the door. But just don't do that. <laughs> so yeah, these uh, spawners will activate. And this is one of the. It's kind of a, like a signature thing that I like to do is is a uh, lockdown in one of the final levels where you pretty much have all the weapons in the game and then you fight a lot of the most basic bot in the game. So this is like a massive goblin lockdown. Just a bunch of them spawning in. Alright, so let's get the fabricators first. Ow. Alright, time for the Devastator PT. There we go. Alright, where's the final one? I think there's still one more fabricator. Oh no, I think I got them all. Okay, cool. Another one. <laughs> I love that. There we go. Lockdown procedures deactivated. Oh wow, I have 11 devastators. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, it looks like I'm allergic to using these premium missiles. I always had this problem. I always save the big, big, big good stuff for the for the final fight, and then I just go all out. Apparently, it's a pretty common problem. It's a common disorder amongst gamers. Mm. All right. Uh, now we have all the yeah, we have everything. We have all the keys. We just loop around here, and boom, go back to the starting area. And grab this. Uh, no, we can't grab this driller. All right, let's see. There should be a... Uh-huh. Hello. Yeah, and I, the driller actually pushes it into the wind tunnel. That will then launch us into the uh, the final fight. And fun fact, you get, I think, seven orbs. Eight on orbs. So that gives you ammo, energy, and shields. And then you get a... Uh, you also get a uh, cloak. So when you enter this room, you are cloaked. And there are uh, destructible uh, matsons here. Because I don't like force field of matsons. I, I don't I really can't stand it if you can't destroy the matsons, so I just don't really do that on my levels. They're only force fielded if they're not activated, pretty much. There's always a way to destroy them, pretty much. That's what I'm kinda of going for. And things are getting a little dicey now. We've also aggroed the bots, so I'm just gonna grab the, the power up. All right, let's get this Goliath bastard. I think I actually might want to pop a time bomb here. I think they're getting a little dicey. Um, uh, by the way, it's worth pointing out that I don't really want to take the invuln. There is an invuln in this area. Just to kind of show uh, where it is. So there should be a Devastator up there. All right, let's pop a time bomb and let's Devastator this guy. All right, Devastator PT, excellent boss killer. Inside the boss it goes. Play strategically inside the boss and then detonate. There we go. This guy's toast. There we go. Right, so, so yeah, this is where you get the super dev pack. So look, we have 10 devs. 
incredible. Um, I actually wonder what happens if we try to fire PT against this thing. Yeah, nothing happens. And there's also an in one here. So there. That's where it is. Uh, this should get one shot at. This should get one shot at two. And there's also a, an overdrive here. And that was a Matson, but there is an energy center here. So you really do have a lot of stuff, and we haven't even I haven't even showed you the the tunnel here. And this has like three time bombs. So if things get dicey, you can just time bomb this thing. Uh, so yeah, this is how it pretty much works. We have pretty much everything. Everything's dead. Um, there's four reactor turrets here. Lots of loot. Looking pretty healthy. And let's see how much damage the missile does. Oh, Goliath core. Alright, just detonates an impact. Oh, I forgot about the Vortex missiles. Wait, why is it not dealing damage? Wait. Wait, what? The Vortex missile can't deal damage to the reactor? It's just a direct hit that deals damage? Like a 15 damage at a time? Interesting. I didn't know that. Alright, now I can take the teleporter back. Boom, and it spits us out. Oh, hello. Oh, this little bastard. <laughs> so that's that, uh, yeah, Scourge. Right, so we're back to level one. It's changed a bit, you can't go into the EC. I don't know the EC, but the crowd chamber. The level's also a bit molten, or changed. Man, this is getting a little close. All right, and that's the final exit sequence. Thoroughly underwhelming. But that's what it is. And this should be the mission pack. Mission accomplished. Thanks, game. All right, Operation Tardigo. Campaign complete. Congratulations on finishing the mission. You're a great human being. Secrets found, 36. Secret levels visited, one. Survivors rescued, 28. Operators destroyed, 605. We went on quite a rampage there. All right, so two hours for this mission. Oh shit, well, okay, It's I guess it's not a walkthrough, technically. I'm not sure what secret I even missed. Uh, what could it have been? Oh, I know what it is. It's in the room. Yeah, I know what it is. Uh, it's in the room where I, um, where the eight weapons were behind the force fields. Yeah, the ceiling there has a door, uh, has a secret compartment that has uh, super missile pods inside. Yeah, there. And that's that. And look, I was a cheater because I astral myself there for a second. Um, hmm. Taurus did 21 damage, Goliath did 29 damage. Very spooky bosses overall. Um, let's see, we got a weapon stats, Cyclone did a ton of damage. Do, 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 do. Devastators were very useful. Um, okay, I'll just show the secrets that I missed. So I'll just astral through things. Uh, we're gonna go operation track. I do want this to be a walkthrough. So in ancient refinery, we missed the secret with the two super power ups. So we're just gonna jump in to this thing on trainee. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, skip upgrades. Right, play. Okay, so just to quickly demonstrate what this is all about when it loads in. There we go. Uh, astral blaze turbo thrusters enabled. Right, so we're we're down to the ancient area. Right around the blue room, and in the red room, there, if you shoot the ceiling, you get two super upgrade points. That was the one that I missed. Uh, quit the main menu, and then I'll show the uh, the final level, uh, Nuclear Heart 1, 2. Oh yeah, there's a briefing here, alright. Skip upgrades. All right, let's just astral through these things. And this is the weapon room. Uh, the weapon room, that yeah, door's open and you can just grab the super missile pods, boom. Okay, now it's officially a walkthrough, I think. Oh wait, no, shit. There was a one upgrade point that I missed on one level that wasn't in a secret. Whatever, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. And uh, yeah, that's it. And this is it. That was Operation Antarctica walkthrough on Insane. Bye-bye.